Hey guys, so welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. One of the most powerful things inside of Studio One is storing and recalling any kind of track or channel settings, either selectively or the entire thing. And this is often underestimated by users. They either think it's way too complicated or not possible at all. And so I think it's high time to show you how easy these things are in the software. Let's get started. So right here, I have a song production from a few years ago, and I worked on a live mix of this song, Child of Entertainment here. And um, I'm pretty happy with how the mix sounds so far. Uh, let me play a little bit. So that's the verse section right here. This then goes into a bridge. which then transitions into the chorus. Now I'm pretty happy with how the mix sounds right now. And as you can see, I also have quite a bunch of virtual instruments that could be also useful for other productions for this particular artist. I really like the kick drum here. Also, I'm quite happy with the sound of the snare. Also, I could imagine using this bass more frequently. Or especially this lead, that's one of my favorites. Or this choir pad. So I guess the goal and the use case, that's pretty clear now, but how in the world can we save all these settings conveniently and recall them whenever it's needed in any kind of project, be it an empty project or one that's already quite advanced? Well, let me show you. To save all of these signature sounds, as I like to call them, all I need to do is just select them. So while holding down Command on a Mac or it would be Control on Windows, I can just select these instruments that you just heard, which is kick, snare, bass, the lead plug and the choir. And then I just have to open up Studio One's browser right here and just drag and drop that anywhere into the instruments or effects section. It doesn't really matter because it will end up at the correct place, which is the track presets folder inside of the instrument section. So just drag it here and you can already see how it says store track preset. And when I let go, I'm going to find a brand new preset called kick here. And that's because it's currently naming it after the first instrument track that was dragged. But we can, of course, just change that name. Also, I could see that it's actually five instrument tracks that are saved. It says right here in the inspector of the browser. So just right click this, rename the preset to maybe diorama signature sounds or something like that. And then if I was in a completely new song, let's just assume that I'm in a new song here, I can just navigate to that same folder, which is currently open, the instruments track preset folder, and then just drag and drop this preset that we just saved in here. And you'll notice that it loads up all of the virtual instruments and not just that, it also loads all of the insert plugins used, the bus channels, the effect sense, the channel settings, even the sidechain settings, all of that was recalled. It even remembered which plugins were on bypass previously. So it's the exact sound that I had before. This is the kick, this is the snare, that's the bass, the plug and so forth. So that's already pretty powerful, especially when you keep in mind that you can also recall this into any existing project. But what if you just want to copy a couple of, say, channel settings? How does that work? Well, this is where song data import comes into play, which is a feature I haven't really talked about since my very first videos on this channel. So here's a refresher. In this example, I have a completely different use case. This is basically a production that's already finished. Uh, everything has been committed to stems. And I just want to bring in some of the drum settings from the song that we looked at in the very beginning. In that case, track recalling with track preset import doesn't really work. It's not the best option because it gives us a ton of things that we didn't want. So instead, I really like this feature that many users overlook. It's import 
about song data or song data import. You find that when you click on the song chapter here at the top and then go to import song data, just navigate to the song that we had in the beginning. And now I can basically select, for example, my snare because I know there's a bunch of scent effects on that. And instead of bringing in the events for this track, I just want to bring in the volume and pan, the insert and specifically the send settings or maybe just bring in only the send settings. Why not? This will just recall the channels that are connected to this particular track. Hit OK. And this will bring in three of these send effects, which I used for this fat drum sound. And those can now be assigned to my drum stem. So as you can see, you can be selective when recalling any kind of settings inside of Studio One, or you can recall everything with a simple drag and drop motion. It's all super easy and intuitive, and it might be a lot less complicated than you thought. Thank you for watching.